Hey guys, it's me, Laura Melendez from Vintage Thrifted Treasures, and today I just want to share with you guys a quick antique mall haul with you guys, and this is going to be a vintage Christmas haul. I found these vintage ornaments. They are hand-painted, and they have these cute little Christmas guys in them. A little snowman. Little Santa Claus, this cute little angel, this, what is this, another angel? It's an angel baby, he's cute, a bear, and this Christmas stocking with toys in it. Anyhow, I wasn't going to get these, but I ended up calling my husband to show him to see what he thought, and he ended up liking them. They are from Christmas Around the World, and I think I paid $12 for the set of these. So there was those. I ended up getting, hmm, what did I get there? I found this <clears throat> Holly Hobby dress-up set, and, um... It's not from 1975. I thought at first it was, but then looking closer as I got home, I noticed she looked a little more modern. So I turned it over and saw American Greetings on it. And it's from 2017, so not vintage at all. Kind of, uh, I only paid $4 for it, which wasn't bad. And it's still cute, even though it's a... You know, it's a reproduction. She hasn't been used at all. All of her clothes are here. Still in their little perforations. So, I thought it was sweet. Has all of her stuff here. So, I thought this would be nice to gift somebody. Or maybe sell it. I'm not doing much reselling these days, but... I don't know, maybe a future giveaway. So there was that. I found this, <clears throat> I think it was Home Co. Cute little Santa Claus. Yeah, Home Co. Made in Taiwan. He has a little bit of paint loss. Um, here and there, but he's still cute. I liked his little face. He has those adorable little eyes. No cracks or chips, so he's gonna go into my Santa collection. And for this guy, I wish I had the receipt with me. I tried looking for it, but I misplaced it. I think I paid seven for him, or four. I don't remember. Oh, and I just noticed he's a bank. How did I not see that? He's missing his cork. <clears throat> Very cute. So, there was that guy. Um, next up, this set of Avon. Let's see, this Christmas candle. It was an Avon perfume bottle. And I liked it because I thought maybe I could put some twinkle lights inside. Let's see if it smells. I didn't even do the smell test. Oh, yeah. It still smells like perfume on the inside, but I thought maybe I can um, put some twinkle lights in there or maybe a small battery-operated LED light just to make the glass shine. And... Sorry, I'm trying to open the other one. They were a set, and I thought they would look cute for Christmas. So, I think I paid $8 for the set of these. So, not too bad of a price either. These are going to go into my Christmas collection. I also bought, the last thing I bought, at least from the antique mall, <coughs> were let me pick you guys up. I'm going to show you a peek of my tree. I'm waiting for another video on my tree. Let me swing you guys around here. And do not... My house is still messy because I'm trying to...
prepare for Christmas. But I bought that guy. He's humongous. So I paid $38 for him and he's not gonna go there. I just have him there for now because there was an available nail up there. So he's probably gonna go, I don't know, somewhere on the wall. I just don't know quite where yet. So I thought he was a great find. He's not too vintage. He's early 90s. Um, had this cool graphic and I especially loved the bottom here where the little toys are at. So it just looked cute. He says Merry Christmas on it. And he was actually a gift from my husband. He was one of my Christmas gifts for the year. So super cute. Um, take you guys back around here. And uh, I forgot, I also bought this thermos, which is my very first thermos. I thought this thing was a great buy. I bought this for $7 and, it, and I liked the design and it's pretty darn tall. So I thought he would be cool with some Christmas decor. This thing over here I bought today too. Kind of a, uh, not a sad story, but it was busted. The cashier was trying to get me a, a better price on it because, not a better price, it had no price tag at all. So she had mentioned to me that the battery compartment did have its top and it was intact. She said she saw it earlier in the day, it must be missing. There was no price on this anywhere. So I asked her, oops, I asked her, um, you know, I said there was no price. So she called her manager over and she was letting him know that the battery compartment was intact when she saw it. It's not now. She asked for a price. He said $5.99, guys. And as he picked it up, that piece over there fell off. So when he said $5.99, I was like, even though it's falling apart? And he was like, yeah. And I said, even though you know, the battery compartment's busted and he just would not budge. So I still thought it was cute and I really wanted it, but gosh, $5.99 for this thing. I don't know, just, it kind of irked me, but I don't know, it was somebody's um, handmade ornament, which I don't know, a lot of these little things, especially him. I remember when I was in second grade, that little red bear, I remember buying that at the Christmas boutique for my mom as a gift. And it cost me like 25 cents and I was so thrilled to have a gift from my mom that I bought on my own. It was so, so nostalgic to me. So I don't know, I just had to have it even though he said $5.99, whatever. Probably lit up at one point, I guess, because it does have um, little Christmas lights. And I'm pretty sure I can um, replace those and maybe even, I don't know, I'm pretty handy. I could probably get that thing to work. So this thing was cool. I bought it for six bucks. So just thought it was awesome. Look at like somebody's handmade Christmas tree with all those cool, you know, knickknacks on it and stuff. So I don't know, this just reminded me so much of my childhood. So I'm gonna glue the, this little guy back on too. But just, Thought that was cool and I just picked that up right now from Goodwill. Um, I also picked up this for somebody I know who loves unicorns. It is made in Taiwan. Taiwan? Yeah, it's made in Taiwan. Perfectly intact. No repairs, not broken. So hard to find these, you know, that aren't busted. There's a little bit of paint loss here on his horn, but I can uh, I can fix that with, you know, some paint or something but I thought this was pretty darn cool I think I paid $3.99 for him I found me a <laughs> strawberry arc jar and how much did I pay for this guy $3.99 so not a bad price for this giant jar and I do own one of these already you guys might have seen it in a previous video 
So I was happy to find this, add this to my strawberry collection. And then when I first walked into Goodwill, I saw this cookie jar, which I absolutely love. He needs to be cleaned off a little bit. He is also made in Taiwan. His stickers right there is kind of coming off a little bit. But look at how cute he is. Look at his face. Look at those cheeks. I don't know. There was just something about his shortness, his stubbiness that just, I don't know, was so adorable. He came with his box original box. He's earthenware, cookie jar. And he, I think, how much did I pay for him? I think there's tags in here because it had come off. $6.99. Original price was $25.99 and then was on sale for $13. So I got him for a steal. I was glad to pick him up. I'm going to add him to my um, collection as well. And I think that was pretty much it for today. And today was one of the very first days I got to actually get out and thrift. Haven't been to the thrift stores in such a long time, guys, but I scored. I love everything I got. I'm looking for vintage ornaments. I couldn't find anything. I did end up picking up um, some ornaments from, I think it was Big Lots. And those are behind me. Oh, I might as well show you guys this too. Hang on one second. I'm going to set you guys down on this jar real quick. <laughs> I picked up. Now, this is in vintage, and I got this at Dollar Tree because I needed a, a tree topper for my second tree. And... The second tree I have is a uh, artificial tree, so I didn't own a uh, I didn't own anything vintage looking for that tree. So I saw this at Dollar Tree, and it was only five dollars. So it reminded me something kind of vintage looking. So I thought this was cool. Just this little replica. So that's gonna go on my my artificial tree, and then. I found just this simple garland that has these uh, little elf guys on it. So, I thought that was cute. That was a dollar, dollar tree. And then, I just bought some of these, sorry guys, some of these um, ornaments that are gonna go outside in my uh, little, I have two uh, artificial trees outside in my doorway that I've had for like 10 plus years and they have no ornaments on them. So I went out and got some glass ornaments. I was looking at the antique mall for really some um, shiny brights and I couldn't find any anywhere. And then anything that looked similar to glass bulbs that were vintage were just totally overpriced. So. They were selling them as single ornaments and I wasn't about to do that. So I just ran to Big Lots and grabbed this entire pack of glass ornaments. And I think this was on sale for $12. And I had a $10, $10 coupon. So I got three of these giant packs for like 28 bucks. So happy about that. Anyhow, so let me know what your favorite item I picked up was today. I think out of everything gosh I don't know I have I, I got lots of favorites uh probably gonna have to say the Santa Claus behind me the um the display board behind me so let me know what you guys think um I will see you guys in the next video bye guys